The arrival of Imperial allies in the Great War was a devastating blow from which the Republic never fully recovered. This was the second step in the Sith Emperor's master plan. Recent Republic strategic information reports proved that the rise of the Mandalorians was orchestrated by Imperial intelligence. We know extremely little about this shadowy organization, but Imperial intelligence operatives are clearly just as deadly as their Sith superiors. The galaxy's criminal networks wavered endlessly during the Great War, debating whether to back the Republic or the Empire. Although the Hutt cartels resented the Sith Emperor for not including them in his pre-war conspiracy, Imperial intelligence somehow blocked the Republic's efforts to win the Hutt's support. Scattered around the galaxy, Mandalorian mercenaries and bounty hunters faced the same choice as the Hutts. Some signed on with the Empire, but most remained independent. Imperial diplomats made repeated attempts to recruit the galaxy's most infamous bounty hunters, but were turned down every time. The Empire shifted its tactics. Mandalorian mercenaries and bounty hunters often fought as gladiators for money and glory, a mark of honor in the Mandalorian culture. Imperial agents used this to their advantage, infiltrating the most prominent gladiatorial arenas in the galaxy as managers and sponsors, and even in some cases as gladiators themselves. The Imperial agents singled out a proud young gladiator to be their pawn. This young gladiator had always fared well in the arena, but with his new Imperial allies, his rise was accelerated to unprecedented levels. Rigging arena fights is not unheard of, but Imperial agents brazenly sabotaged the entire system by drugging their champion's competition. None could stand against him. The whispers of Imperial agents became cheers in the arena. Mandala, Mandala. The ancient title of Ultimate Warrior King was thrust upon the young gladiator. His infamy grew, and when he called, the Mandalorians rallied to their new master. The new Mandalore secretly served masters of his own, however. Imperial agents pulled their puppet strings, and the Mandalorian army blockaded the Hydean Way and challenged the Jedi. Though the blockade was eventually broken, the stage was set for the sacking of Coruscant and the uneasy truce which now paralyzes the Republic. The Mandalorian-Sith alliance remains intact to this day. That could change if the original ruse was brought to light, but the Imperial intelligence covers its tracks too well. Mandalore was slain recently, and his killer, the new Mandalore, has taken his place. Whether or not he's another Imperial puppet remains to be seen, but we must watch him closely. Imperial agent success in bringing the Mandalorians into the war was the counterplay to the Republic's first string of victories, the subject of my next report.